Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back for those who have been coming here. Now in this particular channeling session, I'm going to be picking on to the intense energies of today's collective reading for the Twin Flame, Star Seeds and Light Worker community. All those people who are doing genuine inner work and they're actually on the ascension journey. These messages are not for people who are looking for false hopes and not working on themselves because uh, I know there are people who have gone through a lot in life and they want to become their better versions and they want to they want to be happy they want to heal themselves and attract a reality where they have a lot of peace peace is the most difficult thing to attain on this planet and all those people who resonate with the content here are looking for peace and i have a very strong feeling that they will definitely find their way home so let's get started i would be using my tarot cards i would be using my own cards chakra oracle kipper's card and even angel's card the reason why i use multiple decks is because i like to get like a lot of uh, clarity before i share anything to anyone because information is very important so let's dive into this particular session Also guys, I am available for personal readings and therapy work. Therapy is very, very important in this type of journey because a lot of people usually have generational curses and ancestral curses and societal curses too, due to which they are not able to attract the true love. And true love first has to be healed and attracted within. So once you get into the 5D union with yourself, within yourself, which is the coming together of inner masculine and feminine, then automatically things shift in the external reality. And although it takes time, it's not a one day process, but the journey is very interesting and very beautiful. And it's actually worth it. Like every everything about the journey is so 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 worth it personally i feel that it's never about the destination it's actually about the journey so i sense someone around you who's got like an uh, attachment issue they have an attachment problem they have gone through disloyalty issues they are also trying to understand what actually loyalty means okay so whosoever it is around you and obviously the person I'm channeling for you are representing the collective the greatest relationship that you can have is with yourself I also sense that this person is actually done carrying the karmic baggage they probably have been in a very toxic karmic relationship or a very heavy duty karmic relationship or they have been with a very distorted person with very distorted energy and they are like tired of it this person is quite impacted by third party situations and you are actually sunshine for them like hey sunshine when they look at you they feel like hey sunshine however you need to stay away from energy vampires you need to stay away from them because you have to protect your energy you have done a lot of work you've gone through a lot in life and now you don't want to give away your energy just like that it's your shakti it's your energy you can create love but if you keep giving your energy to to people who are not ready yet to people who cannot understand it yet it's not going to be good for you so you are very careful but you're also reliable and trustworthy. You're not afraid of danger. <laughs> you like to play with danger, it seems. I'm being shown something interesting that even though this person is still in karmic entanglements, but you are the person they are actually in love with. They see you as the high priestess, a very mysterious person, a very interesting, mysterious and a very powerful person someone with the magician energy and uh, 
in the world full of disloyal people you have to be the most loyal to yourself now this is the kind of message you're also giving to this person like just by being yourself you are actually helping this person learn about loyalty true loyalty okay and also as i just picked the first card the theme card was the greatest relationship that you can have is with yourself now this person has probably struggled with the relationship with themselves and they have the energy of someone who's suffering from anxious or ambivalent style of attachment ambivalent style of attachment like the different styles of attachment but this person is definitely suffering with this one and i think this is a reason why they are they are acting like they're confused they are acting like they are pessimistic, sadistic, they don't know how to have fun. This person doesn't know how to be happy, they don't know how to enjoy themselves, like enjoy their life. And they obviously choose, they choose to be in fear uh, with you. I think they have a lot of fear. I mean they should have fear from the karmic and distorted energies but that time they were very bold in the face. Maybe they were advised not to do it by some of their well-wishers but yet they jumped right into it but when it comes to the right person to you who they actually have deep feelings for like they really like you and i think these messages resonate with those people who are in the ascension journey because only who are in the ascension journey go through these type of situations you know so a normal person an ordinary person would probably not get into all this because they're not going to choose to find the truth. They're not going to be a truth seeker. They're going to be uh, someone who follows their heart to the T. I do sense squirrel energy also. Squirrel, the spirit animal energy. Um, and I also sense that you, why have you attracted this person in your life? Because instead of feeling special, on the contrary, you feel like the black sheep of the family. And this person who is... Uh, who's into this ambivalent style of attachment, who's very scared of getting disappointment or rejected. Either they uh, are around you because they want you to just not give importance to these type of energies and continue to love yourself even more. Or maybe they are also looking to heal via you. They are probably, they're looking at you as a, person who is introverted but you are also extroverted and you appreciate people you appreciate you can see beautiful vibes in people you make them happy but you know this person has a has a very a kind of an energy which can dull just by imagining or assuming certain things like uh, I probably sense them going back and forth with you I probably sense them doing like a runner chaser dynamic with you a hot and cold with you sometimes this person is uh, extremely nice to you extremely caring they make very good or very big promises they can say the sweetest and the nicest things to you but you are actually kind of bored with their to and fro you don't like it, you find it very disrespectful. You're quite stunned at this person's uh, stupidity also because they're willing to get abused by the karmic, karmix also, it can be more than one. But they do not want, they do not have the guts to be around a strong personality. You are a very strong personality. You speak your mind, you express yourself really well. And you don't take uh, small things like you are not, a person who's into grudges like this person just based on perceived slight at your end which as i said could be imagined in their head or it could be totally assumed like you've not even done it but they have in their head spun or uh, they weaved many thoughts and they take it like uh, as a very big offense or they take it very personally even if they see a little bit of little bit of something from your side they just want to punish you they just want to treat you bad and they want you to feel not good about yourself so 
this person likes to give the silent treatment in a very passive aggressive way they like to give you the silent treatment this person is not ghosting you or they may have ghosted you a few times uh, already or probably you are already ghosted maybe this person has come back to you but you've already seen it in the past they have this pattern of suddenly ghosting you suddenly dropping you like a hot brick and couple of times they could have made plans with you they may have said that okay tomorrow i'm going to meet you or uh, day after i'm going to meet you or i'll see you here i'll see you there you know so on and so forth but on that day they would vanish they would probably not answer the calls they would not reply to your messages or they would not make any effort to connect with you so if you say yeah okay let's meet at this time let's meet for lunch or let's meet for breakfast or let's meet for dinner they are not going to call you even once or message you even once to confirm the plan like a normal person a person who's in their normal mind usually when they plan anything with anyone whether it's a business meeting whether it's a professional meeting or whether it's a personal situation they will always first thing in the morning uh, or maybe a bit later they will check back with that person they will connect with that person on their own also we do this very normally very randomly with friends all the time with friends and family members it's very normal but in your case because they are suffering from this attachment style they have this anxiety in them okay so i'm not really saying that they are evil people i'm not saying that they are bad people but i'm just saying that this person is actually suffering from some kind of a mental anxiety where they cannot they simply uh, cannot face any fears or they cannot be bold they cannot be courageous they are so scared that someone is going to disappoint them someone is going to break their heart and they are looking too much into your uh, words your actions your lifestyle like they're reading too much into you they're overthinking too much into you lightest thing you say whether you have actually done something or not like you may not have done anything anything literally at your end you might have even been very nice you may have been very nice and you know like very patient very understanding and just been generally yourself like been your nice version but this person here is suffering in the heart they are suffering they got a lot of pain and they got a lot of trauma and they don't know how to heal from it they don't have the modality or they don't have the tools to heal from it they may have a lot of knowledge they may be a kind person otherwise but what's the point i think what's the point of this type of kindness where you're willing to torture yourself and torture someone else emotionally emotional torture emotional brutality emotional cruelty is really the worst thing to do to anyone and then what happens to the other person like what happened to you is that you would have probably taken it personally you would have taken it like in a negative way you would have thought that maybe i am an ugly person maybe i am not that attractive maybe something is wrong with me maybe uh i should not express myself you must have cursed yourself or you must have blamed yourself like you should not be yourself you should not express yourself so this is a really horrible thing to do to anyone to make them feel guilty for who they are and not blurting it out not being straight forward enough to say it that yes this is what i did not like i mean because somehow in their heart they know that it will show to you how insecure they are or how wounded they are or how maybe even selfish they are maybe they are trying to create an image in front of you that they are very nice and they are like the right person for you but they themselves don't believe it they themselves don't believe that they are right for anyone not just you but in general also they don't feel they are good enough they don't feel they match up to the standards and this person is extremely scared and they are not like scared in the sense that they are timid or they are like shy but they are scared in the sense that what if i step into this everything you are doing they are seeing it as a red flag okay so this was a very intense bit that came to me and i feel that no one deserves to go through this feeling because i have personally also come across this type of energy and uh, obviously now that it's been couple of years working with so many people i feel that no one deserves to go through this so if someone hear me out 
the page of pentacles is there six of pentacles so this is all you actually oh my god wow ten of pentacles but there's also the moon and there is three of cups and nine of swords plus followed by eight of eight of pentacles so basically you got to continue doing your inner work you got to continue working on yourself don't allow these type of situations to bother you because you've got this page of pentacles is actually a very studious energy it's a very youthful energy and it's also a very attentive person okay also a very disciplined person a go-getter this is the energy you have you're not type of person who is undisciplined you know eats horrible food you have a good routine you're doing your inner work you work on yourself like you take it seriously you're also very lucky for people around you your partners your family members like you have got good energy spreading out from you then you got the giver energy you're a very giving caring a very compassionate kind-hearted person you you don't keep anything to yourself you just give everything away sometimes and you probably spend your whole life caring for other people and so if someone actually ill treats you they create bad karma for themselves like unnecessarily creating uh, some kind of lack of self-image kind of feeling putting other people in guilt of who they are I mean, if a person cannot handle your honesty, your truth and your maturity, probably they also have ego issues because they see you as someone who is like smarter, maybe better than them and they cannot handle it. The Ten of Pentacles shows to me that you got a lot of support from your masters, from your spirit guides. The divine realm is literally on your side. You are a very loved person, a very loved soul. You got... Uh, everything good going literally but uh, this person put you in the moon energy and the moon energy is like you probably felt like why is this person doing this and more than feeling hurt actually you felt very confused you were like wow like this is strange behavior maybe this person reflected this behavior a couple of times okay now when they look at you they're probably seeing you as a red flag but the way they are acting this is a very big red flag i mean uh ghosting people unnecessarily giving people silent treatments and punishments because they cannot speak for themselves like they don't know how to take a stand for themselves and they are very used to to uh, disrespectful behavior like they will be such a person or such people would be okay to be treated disrespectfully but they cannot actually uh, be around an honest and truthful person who's got like a soul personality like this person who is very much in soul awareness and soul consciousness and uh, I think they also regret this behavior they usually do these things and then they regret so it is their way of staying in lower vibration it is there unconsciously they do this because they are still in sometimes they go to hell vibrations sometimes they go to very negative dimensions and negative dimensions are actually created by our own guilt so they cannot put you down and hopefully this channeling is going to help you out anybody who is going through this situation I think this is my uh, bit and thank you source and thank you masters for choosing me to be the medium because uh, I don't think I have come across these type of channelings. I do see other people sharing a lot of content which is giving others a lot of false hope but not really bringing them out of their pain. So here we are actually looking at someone who is, who can who can go into mental confusion because of someone else's insecurity, someone else's low vibration, someone else's inability or you can say this person doesn't want to get up and work like not the professional work I'm talking about, the inner work. Like they want to complain, they want to crave but they don't want to fix it. They don't want to do the right things. They don't want to make the right actions or do the right things so that the solutions can come they are simply staying stuck in that energy they are not stepping up they are not getting out of their weaknesses so they are remaining stuck in low vibe because of the anxious ambivalent attachment style this person is 
not even giving up on what hurts them and they want to pass this pain around they want to pass it to other people okay usually such people remain in toxic relationships for very long even if they have the option of walking out free from it but they don't do that like they stay in such relationships for long they actually put it on themselves like they can easily remove these shackles which are just made of clothes they're not even chains and there is nothing blocking their way really but because of lack of confidence they don't have self-confidence the red color is very strong over here but it is it is not in the right frame of uh, this person is not in the right frame of mind. The color red actually denotes a strong root chakra. So this person could be having a strong foundation, but they don't have confidence. The color yellow is not uh, proper yellow here. And the swords are actually, you know, like stuck in the root. So because of that, I don't see this person really making the right kind of move. And so they are trying to suck other people into it, like people like you especially. Because when they treat people like you badly, they get some kind of cheap thrills out of it. They get some kind of, you know, like satisfaction out of it. Like, yeah, I punished you. I mean, they were getting punished. So actually, they should have more empathy. They were getting punished for no, no reason. Maybe there was a reason behind it. Maybe this is what they've been doing to others too. And that's why... You know, they were in these karmic uh, templates or karmic realities. Like, they are not happy with what they have in life. Even if the universe is offering it to them, even if they have all these cups in front of them, they don't want any of it, you know. And the surrounding cards make a lot of difference. Had this been in a cluster of slightly different cards, I won't have said all of this, you know. Because sometimes it's okay to not take if you don't want something. But here, that's not the case. This person could also be acting this way to actually protect themselves from rejection because they are assuming that you're going to reject them. So in a way, it's good because, you know, if it's uh, done with right now, you would actually save yourself from a long-term relationship which is similar in nature because this person has a pattern of doing this. They have not done this with you for the first time maybe or they have not done this in life in general for the first time. They have been doing it with a lot of people. They like people, they want to talk to people but little bit of something happens which they don't like. Maybe the other person hasn't done anything but they themselves if they pick on to something they will be like no, 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 I got to... I got to just run away so they are probably uh, confused about commitment or they could be committed elsewhere but that's not working out for them this person has a communication problem uh, this person is extremely scared of abandonment and rejection this person is also doing it because as I said that it gives them some kind of satisfaction uh, the idea that I've hurt you you in the way that you have hurt me like You've not heard them, but they've assumed it inside their brain, inside their head. So the guidance actually is telling you to love yourself, okay? To not take this seriously, to not take this personally. If someone is suffering from something, we can't help it. We should just actually give them some kind of a you know, forgiveness energy and not actually bother about this person. Like if you bother about them too much, it's not really a good thing for you. I mean, for your own self, you got to uh, just strike this person out. Just the way they like to strike people out, just strike them out. And I'm telling you, just the way they have this pattern, uh, they will either connect back with you after a while, after some time, or they will realize their mistake. I mean, they will soon realize that, yeah, actually they were wrong. But, you know, for a lot of people, it's very difficult to admit it. They might, they might accept it when they're alone. Okay, yeah, I was wrong. But they're not going to accept it because uh, it could be possible that you're also wanting them to accept it. In some cases, you have probably given them a sort of a feeling that you're too hell-bent. Like you're too hell-bent on wanting them to accept. Accept that they're wrong. Accept that they made a mistake. Accept that uh, except that this is not right this is not fair and I do sense it may not be entirely wrong on your part but if you don't know this person for too long like if you've not known them for a while then I think it's really good that this has happened early on but if you know this person for a long time 
then let me tell you, you have to heal yourself. You have to actually get into therapy. You have to like confront uh, your own demons. Like why do you even have this person in your life? Because confronting this person is not a good option. Confronting any such people, any such people never works. Uh, you don't even have to like talk to them. You don't have to tell them anything. You don't have to... Uh, connect with them and tell them that this is wrong what you did and uh, it it is actually rude and it is actually uh, it is actually sad but I think in some ways it's also very good because it saves you from a lot of future torture it saves you from a lot of future emotional damage especially if you're watching this channeling at the right time like you would know if it's the right time or not you know both in both cases if you've been with this person for a long time and they keep doing this over and over and over again and you don't get anything in return you're not in a proper commitment you're not in a proper relationship with them and it really like makes you feel like all of your effort goes down the drain it's uh, massively draining your energy you feel unhealthy you feel fatigued you feel tired doing this then in that case my suggestion to you is that you just get into your own space and focus on yourself and focus on your healing because probably you need to get into the emperor energy and bring back your authority look at the emperor how he sits on the throne so maybe that authority is not there uh, ghosting also ghosting and ignoring and neglecting and silent treatment and punishing all of that actually also means that you don't respect like that person the other person does not respect your time and if they don't respect your time they don't deserve your time if someone doesn't respect or appreciate your presence the best thing to do is to give them the gift of your absence so that in your absence they can figure it out they can behave themselves a little better they can learn uh, they can learn a thing or two during that time and if it's a genuine person if it's a person who's genuinely suffering genuinely like because there are two types of people one is very genuine person who wants to heal who wants to uh, improve and they don't know themselves that this is happening or they're doing this or they're getting triggered and they realize their mistake if they reach out to you if they talk to you about it or if you see if you see uh a kind of an energetic shift like you will get to know uh, in their behavior of course in their own by their own behavior they are going to reflect it to you then maybe you can hear them out like you can just give them a chance like you can listen to them I think the best way to do so would be having a straightforward communication like next time they talk to you just ask them why did you disappear or what was the reason and uh, you got to protect your energy. You got to come into the Queen of Wands energy if in case you're not there. And you got to be in the chariot energy also because the yin yang has to be in balance. And chariot is a is a very detached warrior. You got to be detached from this person because this person already suffers from uh, attachment issues. The guidance is actually showing me 10 of cups. And let me tell you that our style of attachment actually determines a lot about our lives okay it's very very imperative to actually fix it and uh, not get into those negative attachment styles like there are actually four attachment styles one is a very secure attachment then we have the anxious preoccupied attachment uh, we have the dismissive avoidant attachment and we have the fearful avoidant attachment Somehow I sense uh, some kind of an emotional, emotionally this person is starving. They need, actually in reality they need someone to love them. In reality they want someone caring around them. They want someone to just kind of testify stuff or validate them. But I also feel that uh, they become kind of possessive, very demanding. Uh, and when they don't see things happening in their own way, like uh, in their own fantasies, they get hurt unnecessarily, like no one's even hurting them. All of their feeling of hurt is actually imagined and uh, they want to know, does this person love me? Does this person love me? So if they have been ghosting you or if they have been uh, ignoring you, 
probably they also want you to follow up with them desperately like keep calling them keep messaging them uh, keep asking them hey what's up why are you angry why are you doing this why are you doing that and the more you call them the more they will get puffed up ego and the more you so it's like a it's like a no win situation from here and there also if you if you're going to be nice to them they're not going to be nice to you that then also if you're going to be loving and caring towards them then also they will not be uh, reciprocating it and if you're going to uh, be yourself be confident be vigilant with your mental state then also they are not going to treat you well so some of you are actually thinking what are you really supposed to do in this case in case it's actually happening with you or you're actually troubled with it then maybe you can get into a one on one hand holding session with me you can take a single therapy session also and you can work on this issue with me because in therapy session we do a couple of uh, spiritual modalities uh, we do guided meditations we do eft we do couple of things and we do either one thing depending on your situation okay so you can book yourself a session by going into the description box and clicking on the paypal link if you're from india then you have to email to me to get my paytm and gpay details i also feel that uh, love is a very organic and a very natural feeling and arguments and differences are a part of any relationship be it paternal be it platonic be it romantic it's a uh, it's very normal to actually have difference of opinion but an egotistical person a person with ego issues uh, or or narcissism in their uh, in their dna because narcissism is of many types there are covert narcissists there are malignant narcissists non malignant narcissists grandiose narcissists there are different types of narcissists okay so for some people they could be in that state of narcissism where they like to remain depressed and sad and that became becomes like their image and that brings them uh, into a space where other people pity them other people give them sympathy so they like that too wow what a card just so perfect and in case you don't get back to this person then they are going to uh, say oh yeah i was so right about this person i knew this person doesn't love me i knew this person doesn't like me i knew this person doesn't have a crush on me or won't have a crush on me i mean uh, it's it's literally all of it is just pure assumption so on this note i'm going to close this channeling session i will see you in my next video one love peace out and jai shri ram